morning we are back at the job that we were doing in the last video and it's just me again today ethan comes back this afternoon from his vacation so today the goal is to get all of this finished cut it all in put the border in put the concrete in and sweep sand it and I could start working on that area, scalping it out, but I can take the machine for it. And I don't have the machine right now. It's at the house. I need the dump truck too. So I'm just going to wait till tomorrow when Ethan is back with me to do that. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and start working on these cuts. You don't like it? What happened? What? Busting him in, that's all. Busting me. You're always kind of busting bust. me. I gotta be. You busting me, bitch. I feel like I'm gonna punch him back. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna grab some stuff and then... Well, I just need you to... I know. We need to run a chalk line on this to... long straight right here. That's all I really need you, you for. Tell me what you want. Okay. Tell me what you want. Is that <laughs> I need you to hold it right on that mark there. What mark is that? Dude? Right here. Okay. One second. You on there? Snap it. Your side. Ah, oh, that didn't come up at all. I got it. I got a different chalk line. There's probably not much chalk in here. Hey, you got one? Come on, man. Let's go ahead and use yours. Come on! Hey! Yep! Think it good? Yeah, I think it looks great. I can't believe how fast it's down. It's been like two hours. You said 7.30 they got here. That's crazy. All the neighbors are like, oh my god. He finally did it. He finally <laughs> did it. One lady, a young girl came by like that. They got some! Speaks like that. He's not allowed to leave. That's awesome. Yeah, it's looking good. No, we need rain. It's gonna get rain. They said today. Uh, they said tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow now? Yeah. And then they say over the weekend we might get some. Uh oh. I need to replace this blade here. I bought a new blade the other day. But I don't know how good it is. I got this tiny little screwdriver to fit in there. Hopefully, that will be good enough.
so now I am not 100% sure how good this blade is going to be. I haven't used this model. It was a new one that I saw at Home Depot. So then just take this out of there. So we're going to find out. Good to meet you. So you guys will hook up with, uh, if you got one job, you call him and he got you, you know? Of course. Hey, uh, I didn't finish that cut. Uh, what? Uh, why do you, um, why do you cut everything by hand? That's a dumb question. How else am I going to cut it? What do you mean? Like my little system. What, with a saw like that? Yeah. That takes forever. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. If I gotta pick up every paver and walk into a saw and do that, or I could just cut a straight line. Is it always straight? Yeah, if you're good enough. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it takes practice, makes perfect. Well, just try it, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to I'm just say, hey, maybe Billy's right. For certain cuts, yeah, it's nice yeah. to use something like that, but if it's just a, yeah. a line. Buy a cheap saw like that from. I have one. Yeah. It's, it's, funny as I, it's I not a chop saw like that, but it's yeah. a table saw that you yeah. slide it through. But I had uh, Harbor Freight, I did all my aluminum. Uh, entryway you know the all uh -huh. the uh whatever it's called the square block yeah i did that all done it was great So down here on this edge is a little funky because I just have that tiny little gap and I don't want to just put tiny little slivers there. It's not going to look good. So what I'm thinking about doing is uh, replacing these small ones with a long one, just cutting it right up to there, replacing this long one with two small ones, cutting the second one, long one, long one. So that's what I'm going to do now.
痛い痛い went in and had some lunch with the customer Billy and uh, now I'm back to it so I did all these cuts for nothing the amount of room we have is perfect for just two borders right here so that was a fail
behind there. Good right there. Four and five eighths. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I got a piece of It's perfect. Now that never happens. <laughs> a cut from another paper that just is actually perfect and not just a little bit off. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, so everything is put in. Besides, I got to cut around this uh, cap right here. But I got, I totally forgot about an estimate that I have to go to, so tomorrow i'm gonna come back and ethan will be with me tomorrow so we're gonna set that pad first at the uh the footer repair that we did um a couple or last video you've, you've seen that actually a couple videos ago um we got to set that back and then we'll come here with the skid steer take all that dirt from the front and come and uh, scalp out this area back here it's got a bunch of rock so I'd rather take it out with the skid steer than uh, try and shovel all this stuff out. All this rock right here. So I'm going to dig it all out. I also have to pop this pad out with the skid steer. And uh, load it all up in the dump truck. And then I'll go back, drop the skid steer off get the uh, work truck in the enclosed trailer and we'll come back and start working on this finishing this up and then prepping that area over there so that is the plan right now I'm just gonna clean all of this mess up that I've made and get to my estimate so I will see you guys tomorrow